relax. There are some things that, you know, you go a part of and you sometimes there are people that are like that. They beat up themselves. They can't forgive themselves. I'm like, what? And then there's other people that, you know, they can't forgive God. God allowed this. God, why did you allow this to happen to me? God, why did you allow that to happen to me? You know, I, I remember when I was uh, uh, burnt in the hospital and, you know, second degree burns everywhere. And I said, God, how come you allow this to happen to me? Why, why me? Why me? You know, and I started to be so upset, you know, the first couple of days with God, like, God, you say you are God and you allow this to happen to me. And I recognized quickly, I said, this, um, this issue you are having with God, <laughs> it will not help you. <laughs> Hi, I want to say this to somebody this morning. This problem you are having with God, it will not help you. Let go, let go, let go. And let God have his in your life. Let go of what didn't work. Let go of the fear. There are many of you, you have fears. Fears that doesn't even exist. Fears that God is never going to allow to bring your life in your life. But you are just holding on to this thing because you think, oh, my gosh, this thing might happen to me or this thing will overcome me or this thing, you know, and you keep just rehearsing it. When God wants you to let go and be free in the name of Jesus. So before we start up uh, with the prayer points, Giselle, can you open us up in prayer this morning? Giselle, are you there? Miss Bowen, open us up in prayer. Father God, as we come together this morning to give you thanks and praise, Lord Jesus, let all those that are hanging over us, all the disappointment, all the obstacles, we ask you to clear it, dear Lord Jesus, and give yes, us a Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask you for deliverance, dear Lord Jesus. If everything that is burdening our mind, yes, Lord Jesus, Lord. free us, free us, and burden us, dear Lord Jesus, that we may understand your work and understand our purpose. Lord yes. Jesus, we just ask you to uplift me this morning, dear God, and we ask you to take us through. Bless us, dear Lord Jesus. Give yes. us a purposeful day, dear Lord God. Yes, us a rejoice in with you, Lord Jesus. We ask, dear Lord Jesus, that you take us from glory to glory as we give you thanks and praise yes, for Lord. this new day and this new month to carry us through. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask. Amen. 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 Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. And we will begin with Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. And I want to repeat that verse again. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the stress, the, the, the mental problem of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Amen. And I want mm -hmm. to let you know, with his stripes, uh, we are healed. Mm -hmm. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Everything that didn't work, it was upon him. Why are you taking it on this morning? Uh, my God, let us begin with our prayer points this morning. Uh, and we are declaring, oh God, uh, let every cause of pain in my life uh, be removed by the power of the Holy Ghost. We need to pray this prep one because there are some causes in our life of pain. This morning, ask the Lord, oh God, remove every cause of pain in my life in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray this morning. Oh Lord, remove, remove every cause, every cause of pain that is in operation in my life in the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and pray this morning. 
and declare it. Oh God, remove every cause of pain that is in operation in my life in the name of Jesus. Come on now, open up your mouth, declare it this morning. Oh Lord, remove every cause of pain that is in operation in my life in the name of Jesus. So, come on, somebody lay hands on yourself this morning and declare it. Lord, every cause of pain that is an operation in my life, Lord, remove it, remove it, remove it in the name of Jesus. Come on now, declare it this morning. Lord, every cause, every situation, every problem, Lord, remove every cause of pain that is operating in my life in the name of Jesus. Come on now, somebody ask the Lord to remove Remove it this morning. Uh, oh Lord, remove the cause of pain. Remove the cause of pain. Remove the cause of pain uh, that is in operation in my life in the name of Jesus. Uh, ask the Lord to remove the, the cause of pain. Uh, amen. The cause of pain uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to remove it this morning. Uh, remove the cause of pain. Remove the cause of pain. Uh, every cause of pain uh, that is in operation, that is in operation in our lives. Uh, Lord, remove Remove it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Every cause of pain will be removed out of our life in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare it, Lord. Every cause of pain be removed out of our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Our next prayer point, we are praying and we are declaring, we are asking God, Father, destroy the power that is behind every pain in my life. Now, there is a power that is behind pain. There is a power, there is an evil force, there is an evil power that is behind the pain in your life. That pain of relation in relationship, that pain of losses, that pain of, of putting out and you're never being able to receive what belongs to you. That pain of setback that you're thinking in your mind you're supposed to move 10 steps ahead and why are you still backward? That pain that is saying God, that, that you are saying my God, why am I dealing with this? That pain. This morning we are using this prayer point. We are praying, Father, destroy the power that is behind every pain in my life. Open up your mouth and pray this morning. That prayer point. Father, destroy every power that is behind every pain in my life. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and pray this morning. Declare his Father, destroy every pain. Every pain, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every power behind the pain operated in my life. Destroy it in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord this morning to destroy the power of that pain that is operating in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the power that is behind every pain in my life. Father, destroy the power that is behind every pain in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, destroy the power that is behind every pain in my life. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord this morning. The Lord, destroy, destroy this morning. That is the pain in my life. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Lord, destroy the power that is behind uh, every pain in my life, uh, every generational power that is behind my the pain in my life, uh, let it be destroyed. Uh, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every pain of losses, uh, every power, every power that is behind your pain uh, this morning, uh, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. We are praying this morning and we are asking God to heal us and deliver us from pain, from the past pains, the past hurts. Because if we carry around the past pains, the past hurts, 
the past issues uh, amen and we continue to walk in it we will not enjoy the future so this morning i want you to lay hands on your chest and i will lay your put your right hand on your chest and declare oh god every pain that has wounded my soul heal me in the name of jesus amen lay hands on your chest and speak to your spirit speak to your soul. every every pain that is wounded my soul heal me in the name of jesus every pain that is wounded my soul heal me in the name of my spirit those pain that were that went deeper. Lord, every pain that has wounded my soul, let it be healed in the name of Jesus. I want to open up your mouth and pray. This is for somebody this morning. Amen. Every pain that has wounded my soul, let it be healed this morning in the name of Jesus. I ask the Lord, Lord, every pain in my soul, every pain in my soul, Soul, every pain that in my soul, let it be in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna ask the Lord for healing this morning. Ask the Lord for healing, healing of your soul this morning. Healing of your soul. Every pain that has wounded your soul that went deeper. Come on, ask the Lord for healing this morning. The Bible says, uh, but the chastisement of our peace was upon him uh, in the name of Jesus. We are asking the Lord for a healing, uh, a healing so that we will carry a pain uh, in our soul. Uh, this morning, I want you to open up your mouth and pray this morning. We need healing from the past. We need healing from things that have wounded us. Amen. Glory to God. And he says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Open up your mouth and declare it to God. Lord, from every fruit of the past in the name of Jesus. In my soul, in the name of Jesus. Come on, Lord. Ask the Lord to heal your soul this morning from every deep wound of the past. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen and amen. Glory to God. Our next point we are praying and we are declaring, Father, grant me deliverance from every occasion of pain and hurt in the name of Jesus. It is important to ask the Lord to grant you deliverance from every occasion of pain of hurt. As I said earlier on before we start, it is not that we don't have memory, but the thing is, we have to use that memory to say, look what the Lord has done. You understand? But we are asking God to grant us deliverance from the Occasions of the past. There are many occasions that we went through. There are many occasions that we have suffered through hurt, with hurt, with pain. Amen. And it has still been lingering in our lives, lingering in our mind, lingering in our thoughts. And we are asking God to deliver us from it because we want to move forward. We want to let go. We want to enjoy what is on the future, in the future. But we cannot do that with the memory of the occasions of the past. We have to ask God for deliverance in the name of Jesus. That memory of hurt, that memory of sadness, that memory of rejection. This morning, I want you to open up your mouth and pray. Oh God, deliver me from every occasion of the of hurt and pains in the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Just like Jesus was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they do not what they do. Glory to God. Sometimes you have to say, Father, forgive give them they don't know what they do they don't know who they hurt you know open up your mouth and pray that prayer point this morning father forgive me for from every occasion of good and pain oh, deliver me sorry from every occasion of good and pain come on open up your mouth and pray this morning 
It might have been a previous marriage. It might have been your parents. It might have been your best friend that has hurt you. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. For deliverance. Say, oh God, deliver me from every occasion of fear. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to deliver you from every occasion of hood of pain. In the name of Jesus, come on, open up your mouth and pray this morning. There's some of you who are changed with these things. Open up your mouth and ask the Lord for deliverance this morning. Father, deliver me. From the occasions of hurt and pain, in the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to deliver you this morning to set you free from the occasions of hurt and pain, in the name of Jesus. Whatever occasion of hurt or pain that have surrounded your life, that have caged your thoughts, say, Oh God, deliver me, deliver me from every occasion of pain, every occasion of sadness, every of abuse, Lord, oh God, that event that happened, God, deliver me, deliver my mind, Lord, deliver my mind. ask the Lord this morning, come on, open up your mouth and pray this morning, declare it, oh God, deliver me from that occasion of pain, that is you, that problem, deliver me from it this morning, in the name of Jesus, deliver me this morning from that occasion of pain in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from that occasion of rejection, of sadness. Deliver me. Open up your mouth and name it and declare it, Lord. Deliver me from this occasion of pain, from the occasion of problem, from this occasion of failure. Lord, deliver me from this situation. Deliver my mind. Deliver my heart. Deliver my spirit in the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver me. Come on, ask the Lord to deliver you this morning. Amen. From every occasion of pain and hurt. Jesus, yes, to deliver us, deliver us this morning, uh, in the name of Jesus, deliver us this morning. in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen and amen, glory to God. Now, now, what we need to do is pray, we need to open up our mouth and pray these prayer points, because it's necessary for us to move forward. <laughs> in the month of September that there is going to be a lot of breakthroughs but if you continue in the same mindset or if you continue in that same pain it will be like a millstone that is tied around your foot you will not be able to move forward or you will not be able to move at the pace that God wants you to move and I want you to pray this morning now there are many of you under the sound of my voice on Facebook or even on Zoom here that has gone through one level of abuse or another. And when you have gone through abuse, it damages your mind. It damages the way you think. You do, You no longer think as you are supposed to think. You think in a, a kind of a, a negative way, a kind of depressed way, a kind of way that you're not good enough. I want to tell you this morning that that pain of abuse, the Lord will heal it. The Lord will deliver you from it. Amen. As much as you want to be delivered, the Lord is willing to do it. Again, I want to read that Isaac. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And I like this part, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. So anything that is taking your peace this morning, it was already upon Jesus. Amen. And he came to deliver you from it. So I want you to declare, oh God, every abuse that I've suffered in my life, Lord, deliver me from it in the name of Jesus. Deliver me. Every, every occasion of abuse, every occasion of abuse, whether by your 
your mother, your father, your spouse, whoever, a boss, somebody who's trusted, open up your mouth and pray. We are we are in this, we are digging deep this morning. We are asking the Lord, oh God, deliver me from that situation of abuse that has been a that I've been a part of in the name of Jesus. Come on, lay hands on yourself this morning. Declare it, oh God, deliver me from that abuse of the past in the name of Jesus. Come and open up your mouth and pray this morning. Declare it. Mighty God, deliver me from the abuse of the past in the name of Jesus. That abuse might have come from your parents. That abuse might have come from your father, from your own. Open up your mouth and pray this morning. The abuse might have come from your mother. The abuse might have come from a pastor, a person that you have trusted. That church hurt. Listen, open up your mouth and pray. Declare it, oh God. Every abuse, every church hurt that has dealt with my spirit. Lord, deliver me, deliver me. Come on, open up your mouth and pray this morning. Arise and pray. Ask the Lord to deliver you from the abuse of the past, whatever situation that would have connected to your life, that it was abuse to you, God. Open up your mouth and pray before of God. Ask the Lord to deliver you from the abuse of the past. The abuse of the past. Ask the Lord to deliver you. Sometimes you think you got over it, but you did not get over it yet. Ask the Lord to deliver you this morning. Ask the Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to deliver you, ask the Lord to heal you from the abuse of the past, in the name of Jesus, the abuse of the past, in the name of Jesus, my God, I declare healing for your people, come on now, open up this mouth and pray this morning, Lord, deliver me from the abuse of the past, Past, uh, every abuse, uh, every situation uh, that has connected to my life uh, that brought about some form of abuse. Uh, Lord, oh God, deliver me, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Come on, uh, open up your mouth and ask the Lord to deliver you this morning. He is here to deliver in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Every abuse of the past, uh, every hurt of the past, uh, Lord, deliver your people this morning uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord of oh God, every occasion, Lord, let it be removed of the life in the name of Jesus. Every abuse, every abuse of the past, every abuse of the past, Lord, let them be delivered, let them be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be delivered in Jesus' name. Glory to God. In Jesus' name name we pray amen and amen and amen glory to god i want to read another scripture and this is coming from acts chapter 10 verse 38 and it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Listen, many times we are oppressed. There is a devil behind it. Amen. The, 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 there is need for healing from that oppression of the enemy. I don't know if you are getting me this morning. My God. And Jesus can do it. He can heal you from that spirit of oppression that has kept your life back for so long. Glory to God. God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power. So you that have the Holy Ghost within you, you can lay hands, you can declare it and say, God, heal me from this spirit of oppression. We see that here in the word of God. It says, healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. So we know oppression comes from the devil. <laughs> we are praying this morning and we are asking God, oh God, Every spirit of oppression that has plagued my life, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray, declare it this morning in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to deliver you. Oh God, deliver me from every spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus. Come on now, open up your mouth and pray, declare and pray. 
this morning, this morning. As we have 15 of us here this morning, I want you to unmute your microphone up your altar. Ask the Lord this morning to deliver you from the spirit of depression. Those of you that are on Facebook, wherever you are, I want you to declare this morning. Ask the Lord to deliver you from the spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus. So open up your mouth and pray, declare it. Deliver me, deliver me from the spirit of oppression. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Deliver me, Lord, deliver me, Lord, from the spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to deliver you from the spirit of oppression. Rekataya, that is all that is operating in your life. That is operating in your life. Come on, now. open up your mouth and pray this morning. Every spirit of oppression, deliver me, God, deliver me from it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen and amen. And this is our last prayer point before I let you guys go this morning. We are praying. Every every oppression from the womb, anything that you need to be delivered from, from in your mother's womb. I think I mentioned something like this the other day, that when your mother has been uh, going through things while you were in the womb, there can be things that can be transferred to you. Things, for example, like, uh, let's say, rejection, uh, or, or she had stress going through the pregnancy, so, so she, she felt like she didn't want you. All these feelings, all these communications from within her can be transferred to the child. And let's term it like this. Anything from your generation, any healing, any deliverance from your generation you need, open up your mouth and pray and declare it. Oh God, deliver me from every generational hurt, every generational thing in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray this morning. Sometimes your mother is having problems with your father and she decides to take out everything on you because you look just like your father or vice versa you know so the hurt goes down to you oh my god listen people of god this is real and i want you to open up your mouth and pray this morning oh god deliver me from every generational hurt in the name of jesus open up your mouth and pray this morning declare it to god lord deliver me from every hurt that was sent down to my life in the name of jesus come on open up your mouth and pray open up your mouth and pray this morning this is your last prayer point in the name of Jesus, Lord, deliver me from every generational hurt. Every generational hurt, Lord, deliver me from it. In the name of Jesus, every hurt that has been handed down, Lord, oh God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Open up your mouth this morning and declare it, oh God, deliver me from every hurt that has been handed down. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, deliver me this morning from every generational hurt that has been handed down in my life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus ask the Lord to deliver you this morning from every generational hurt that has been handed down that has been handed down the good, the struggle, different things that has been handed down ask the Lord to deliver you this morning in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Jesus, Lord, deliver your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, I pray. <clears throat> amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, people of God, this is um, powerful prayer points. If you can, you know, in your private time, you go back, you repeat the uh, video the video because I'm going to put it on YouTube and you pray these prayer points uh, for yourself and what I want you to do is get intense with it uh, call out the situations that you have been a part of call out the problems uh, that you have been a part of say God deliver me from this thing as 
long as it comes up in your memory and there's an there's an emotion that is triggered the hurt is still there you understand ask the lord to deliver you from this because as i said earlier you need to be delivered from this so that you can move forward amen i see this is as many we many of us carry these unwanted hurts these pains and it, it goes along in our life and it hinders us sometimes god brings people into our life to bless us it hinders the connection it hinders it, it, you know the the blessing it hinders things and you know you are there thinking oh this situation happened to me before uh maybe it's gonna end up like this no it's not gonna end up like that no god wants to change your story but first you have to get healing from the past you have to get healing from the things that have been 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 in your life and have been you know as a memory you know it's still there like a plague you know so i want you all that mm -hmm. you know, as you as we have finished you take this video you go back you listen and you pray mm -hmm. these prayer points and get in depth at it because i see many of you here you're going to be delivered in jesus name and i wish i would hear you say amen amen and amen 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 amen, amen. glory amen. To God. hallelujah listen i want to declare this morning that you are blessed in jesus name we thank amen. god that we have our prophet of god that is on the line with us this morning amen man of god i just want to hand over to you for a few minutes to share something with us before we leave. Amen. God right. bless you. Good morning, Apple. Good, Good morning. morning. Good, bless you. Good, Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know you have a great day. Amen. 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 Uh, so uh, we are going to look at the book of uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. If somebody is there, you can read first. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Colossians. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 says, Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son amen amen you know jesus came to set us free from every bondage amen jesus came to bring us into light bring us out of darkness and bring us into light therefore amen. i decree upon your life today that everything resembling darkness in your life, by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Amen. 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 Anyone, anyone taking your property, your name, or any of your picture to the shrine for complaint, for evil activity, the Holy Ghost will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You shall be delivered. Amen. In the name of Christ, you shall be delivered from every darkness, every dark altar, every altar speaking against you, every foundational altar speaking against you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are set free in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen, oh, amen. God. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Will it be, cannot be otherwise. Amen. Hallelujah. Every dark altar that has connected to our life, we are, we are delivered. We are set free from it in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Powerful indeed, man of God. God bless you. Thank you. And we receive those prophetic declarations in Jesus' name. Yeah.
Amen. This morning, we thank God for his goodness. Amen. We thank God for the word that was sent out. And I pray again that each and every one of you have a blessed day. And as we go for today, uh, before we go, uh, Brother Graham, can you lead us in the uh, our Father prayer as we go? Praise the Lord. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven. But hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory forever, and ever. Amen. 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 God. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day today. Amen. May the Lord bless you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you his peace in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, you are blessed. You are the head and not the tail. You are above, above only. May the Spirit of the Lord be upon you to lead you and guide you and protect you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. And amen. Glory. Let's all have a good day. Bye bye. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all around. Amen. amen. Bless you. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Have a blessed day. Thank bye. You. Bless you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.